until a few days ago I'd never actually used wind noise reduction on my little Pocket 2 camera but um, a friend um, asked me to check a few things out regarding wind noise reduction and so I explored a bit and I discovered some interesting things. Now at the moment it's turned off so you'll probably be hearing some wind noise um, happening. Now one thing I observed with wind noise reduction on is that um, one of the ways it works is by making the stereo image turn to mono while there's wind and then it goes back to stereo while there isn't so I'm hoping I can briefly demonstrate this and show how effective it can be. Okay wind noise reduction is now on. First thing is does it make any difference to the normal sound? Um, in my experience at home it didn't seem to mess up the sound at all. Some wind noise reduction is disastrous for the whole sound you wouldn't want to leave it on but as far as I can see this does no harm at all so I'm going to move to a more windy spot and see if we can actually test how effective it is and what the effect on the stereo image is okay wind noise reduction is on and I'm standing at the right hand side of the camera so that my voice should be coming distinctly from the right hand side but as the wind comes and goes you should hear my voice move to the centre because as I found um, the wind noise reduction system turns the sound to mono to help the uh, wind be less obtrusive on the sound image. Now I bet now with that gust of wind it's well and truly in the centre but hopefully while I keep talking it will die down a bit so that you can hear my voice move back to the right hand side. I may have to insert a cut here. As you can see this car park is um, deserted because we have lockdown here in Melbourne and I'm just supposed to be out on my exercise walk. And I'm a long way from anybody with my mask half off. But strictly speaking I could probably be arrested for this. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the wind to die down a bit and see whether we move to the stereo image again. I could be talking like this for the whole afternoon, couldn't I? Okay, the wind's dropping a bit. I'm trying to keep in the same position relative to the gimbal head because you may well be aware that the stereo image relates to the position of the gimbal head not to the position of the handle, which is very clever stuff. And I think um, DJI have paid so much attention to the sound that I suspect they've done a really good job with wind noise reduction. However, having said that, the only way to avoid wind noise is to not try and video on a windy day, or if you do, use an independent sound system with some uh, protection of the microphones against the wind. So now there's very little wind at this particular spot and hopefully you should hear my voice move to the centre. And um, let's keep talking on the right hand side and see what happens to the stereo image and to the amount of wind that you hear. Really not much wind at the mic at the moment quite still in this particular spot but you can see the trees moving about okay let's walk on a bit keeping myself at this strange angle to the camera for a consistent stereo image and I can hear the wind in my ears anyway I would expect this now to be thoroughly mono image. Still talking. Good mono image I think with this amount of wind and um, well what more can I say I think I will have proved the point one way or the other. I'll just switch back to um, noise reduction off just to finish. 
so just to finish wind noise reduction is now off there's plenty of wind you should have a stereo image but a load of wind noise which won't be pleasant for you to listen to any longer so i'll call that a day and i hope this little test has proved useful to you thanks bye